Hello my friend, in today's video I'll show you how you can use Clay together with a tool called Lemlist so that you can finally send personalized emails and personalized LinkedIn messages all through one simple platform, in this case being Lemlist. So essentially, in order to pull this off, you need to do the following seven steps that you can see on my screen right now. The first step is to connect the API key. The way you do that is inside of Clay, you would just click on add enrichment inside of your table. You will type in lem list, bonus points if you don't misspell that, and just click on any one of those enrichments. In this case, I'm going to select the add lead to campaign enrichment and click on add account over here. At that moment in time, over here, you can just name this connection your API key test, right? And all you would have to do, as I already mentioned a million times, is go and get a free trial with lemlist. I will make sure to link down below my free trial link, which gets you an extended free trial with them. And at that moment in time, in the bottom left-hand corner, you need to click on your name. And over here, you'll click on settings. And at the bottom, you will see this tab which says integrations. Needless to say, all you need to do is click on generate next to the key button, because this basically means generate API key, which once again, in my opinion, is not the easiest place to find it. At that moment in time, just give it a quick name. So I'm going to call it test two. I'm going to create the key and copy and paste this API key. Worth noting, API keys are like your bank details. You probably don't want to share them just in case if you're not, uh, if you're new to this kind of techie world. And you can set this as default, save it, test account and save. And at that moment in time, voila, you're absolutely smashing it ready because you've done step one of this seven step process. So in order for, for you to pull off and in order for you to connect a to lem list, you already connected it using an API key. And the next step is to build a quick email campaign inside of Lemlist. The way you would do that is pretty straightforward. So you will navigate back to the main interface over here into the campaign section. You'll click on create a new campaign. You can select the different steps. So for example, you can send an email and if the person does not reply to the email, you'll send them a LinkedIn message or something of that sort. For the purpose of this demo, I'll just show you how to do an email and then that's it. Like, let's just do an email because I think that'll be the most straightforward. And we'll just basically just put in like placeholder text here, placeholder text. We basically don't need to put anything in here for the time being. At that moment in time, you can just name the campaign. So I'll call this test one. And all we need to do is then just exit the campaign and we can see it's been created over here and make sure that it's switched off. Now go back to your clay table and I assume that you already have inside of your clay table, I assume you would have the names of people. And the first thing we basically need to do is to generate a custom message. And a custom message is basically any sort of message that you want to send at a prospect. If you're new to clay, you probably would find this absolutely revolutionary. But what we're going to do now is use this add column. Button. So we'll click on add column, we'll click on message. And now we can just generate a personalized message for each individual one of, one of these people. So we'll click on add column message and we'll say, hi, first name. What's your five kilometer PB? And if you didn't know this, the whole idea of this message is that it just puts a message together from all the custom variables so that you can pass this all as one string of text into your actual sequencer later down the line. So we can save and don't run. And voila, you can see all of these. We'll then rename the column to email one. And all we need to do is basically then send this email one inside of Lemlist. So the way we'll do that is by, we'll click on add enrichment in the top right corner. We'll type in Lemlist. We'll click add lead to campaign. And oh, voila, over here, we should see the test campaign. So let's just refresh the fields. Yes, we can see the test one campaign. All we need to do is just fill in the email address of the person. So this is who we'll be reaching out to. We probably want to include their first name as well. And we want their last name because that's important as well later for when they reply. So we know who replied. And the thing that we'll, the way we'll pass this email one text into Lemlist is through this custom fields. So once again, all you need to do is click on add a new custom field and custom whatever, like click on this button, button, and then at that moment in time, just say email one, and then select email one from the list. And obviously if you're new to play, you may find this difficult, but the way you will basically do that is whenever you're referring to a new, to a specific column, you'll just use the backslash to do that. And at that moment in time, we'll just basically save and run the rows. 
And at that moment in time, you should see that these leads are going to be added into your Lemlist campaign. So you can, you can see it says added to campaign and it tells you the company name and the campaign name, right? So we can see right now, if we go back inside of Lemlist, we've already generated the custom message. We added the lead to the campaign. And once again, this is only available on the $349 a month clay plan. If not, you'll have to export all of this data as a CSV. So you would just export it as a CSV from here. So you'll just click on export, download CSV, and then you'd have to import it as a CSV inside of the campaign here. But assuming you've done step four, we need to pause the campaign and add the custom variables. The way you will do that is by going back into the actual campaign here. You should see that the lead list came through. So you should see all the leads are in here. And you should see that you have the first name and last name for most of them. And then on the right hand side, you, like these are all just the basic details. So if we go back to the sequence, we should notice now that if we go to the bottom here where it says add personalization, there should be this email one custom variable that appears. And this is what we passed through from Clay just now. So what we have to do is basically click on that and we can just, you know, we can leave this blank for the time being, right? Like I, I can say, I'll call it question. And all we basically do in this case is preview at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And this should show to you that email one will be replaced with this placeholder text for each individual person. So this is the text that we just generated inside of Clay. Absolutely magical, right? So this text will be inside over here as well. So assuming that you are happy with the preview, you can also do the same for the, for the subject line. So you could have passed the subject line as well and all of that fun stuff. And at that moment in time, as soon as you're happy, you can just click on next step. And I'm sure it's pretty self explanatory. Typically the data will be all clean. In my case, it's just some dodgy data that I imported. That's why it's not as clean as I'd like it to be. At that moment in time, all it is, you can just basically just check all of your leads. If you, you are not able to push it natively from your actual, from, from clay, you can import this lead list as a CSV file as well. That should be pretty straightforward as well. And all you would then do is just click on launch that you've connected your email provider, which I haven't in the for the time being, because this is just a quick demo account. So at that moment in time, assuming that you've got your email provider pre, uh, like connected, assuming you have the, your email preview and your lead list sorted, you should be able to basically launch this campaign within just a couple of minutes of watching this video. Now, in the meantime, I think we've covered every single step of the process. And my guess is that you want to have an extended free trial with Lemlist. And if that's the case, I'll make sure to link my link down below so you can access Lemlist for two weeks, maybe three weeks on a complete free trial. I'll try and bully them into an extended uh, free trial for you. And if you are not familiar with what I do for a living just yet, one of my side projects right now is running Unlock Play, which is the best course on the market for learning play from zero to 100 real quick. It's the best course on the market. We have over 100 verified testimonials in just the last three months alone. I spend every single day and I block off 30 minutes every single day to tackle any questions or requests that students have. So it's not a matter of you just piecing together knowledge through tutorials like this one, but rather you have the most complete course on the market for the price of only 100 pounds, which I believe is like $120 or so. So if you want to join me inside of Unlock Clay, by all means, go and check it out. It will be linked down below underneath the video, wherever you're watching it. But other than that, I hope you found this video informative. I hope you go and try out Lemlist, whether it's with my random affiliate code or not. And if you have any questions and if you struggle with anything in the meantime, just drop me a comment because trust me, this channel does not get that many comments. So I do reply to every individual one. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day. Cheers.